Hi, in this video I'm working with the IDS X-Series alarm system and I have an X-Series zone expander. This is the standalone expander which can provide expandability to your X-Series alarm system. This is the part number. In the box you will get your expander, you will get three sets of resistors, the 3K3 resistor, 4K7 and then the 12K. There is a double sided tape which can be stuck at the back here if you want to stick this into your alarm panel. They also supply the posts and screws if you want this to stand off the panel to give a bit of space. The IDS system uses two different expander boards, the standalone one such as this and then the one that plugs directly into the main board. In this video I will be showing the standalone one. If you would like to see how to use this one, the plug-in one, please check out my videos in my playlist for IDS alarms. Right, the wiring is as follows. You will need four wires. It is a positive, a negative, a data plus, a data minus. And then over here we have the positive, the negative, the data plus, the data minus. This is the exact same connections as it would be if you were connecting a keypad. So an expander and a keypad are connected in the same way. So that means that in your alarm system, you may already have wires sitting here. You might have two or three keypads, which means you will have a few of the red and black and a few of the data plus and data minus wires. It is not a rule to use white for data plus and green for data minus. You may choose your own colors as long as the data plus over here correlates with the data plus over here and the data minus is the same wire as the data minus on this side. Once you've wired it up, you will need to tell the system which zone expander it is. Right, now the zone expander provides you with the zones from number 17 upwards. What I mean by that is zone 1 to 8 is on the panel over here. Zone 9 to 16 is on the plug-in expander that goes across here. Only zone 17 to 64 will be on an expander board such as this. That means that the very first zone expander can only be zone 17 to 24. If I would like to have zones 9 to 16, I cannot use this. I will have to go and purchase the plug-in expander and connect it over here. In my case, I'm doing a demonstration by showing you that if you would like to grow your alarm beyond zone 16, then you will need a zone expander such as this. This will allow me to go from 17 to 24, giving me eight additional zones. So over there I have my eight additional zones. Now this X64 alarm system allows me the option of having six of these. So what's important here is how do I know which zone expander board is for which set of zones. Now I'll quickly show you the manual. In the manual they are showing that if the dip switch number one is in the on position that will take zone 17 to 24. If the dip switch is on the 2 position, so if I move number 2 to the on position, that will then mean I will be having zones 25 to 32 on that zone expander. Now here is where it gets tricky. These numbers are not decimal numbers, they are binary. That means that 1 refers to the first binary position. So 1 is 1. The second binary position is a 1 over here. The third binary position is a 1-1 one, one because 1-1 one, one in binary is decimal 3. So in order to tell the X-series alarm system that I'm using zone expander 3 for zones 33 to 40, I need to push up 1 and 2 telling the alarm system that that is expander board number 3. If I want to go to another expander board, maybe my fourth expander board, so that will be Binary 4. Binary 4 is 1, 0, 0. So I push up the 1 over here and that will mean it is zones 41 to 48 telling the system that that is zone expander 4. If I want 5 that is 1, 0, 1 in binary. That is why the 1 will be up 0 and a 1. And if I want number 6 that is 1, 1, 0. So it will be 1, 1, 0, telling the alarm system that that is the sixth expander board. So notice that whichever expander board number you set on this dip switch, that dictates the expander's zone numbering. So that means that if I put up 
number one. I can't say that it is zones 25 to 32. The alarm system will not acknowledge those zones. It will think it's zone 17 to 24. So if I put up just the dip switch number one, the alarm system will be expecting zone 17 to 24 in the system. So it's very important to get these dip switches correct. So in this case, this is my first standalone expander board. So I push up number one. This means that this zone over here, although it says one, two, three, four, all the way to eight, will now be 17, 18, 19, all the way up to number 24. So when I'm configuring my alarm, I need to know that that is zone 17 and that is zone 24 based on that dip switch. So if you are viewing an alarm system and you notice that dip switch 2 and 3 is up, that means that these zones are zones 57 to 64 based on the dip switch number. Right now, because I'm only adding one dip switch, I will just start with number 1. That means I'll now be starting with zone 17 to 24. Keeping in mind that zones 9 to 16 would be the plug-in expander that's sitting here. Right, once it's plugged in, I will now observe this red LED. The red LED should remain on. It should not be flashing. If it is flashing, it means there's an error. I'll quickly go through some of the errors and then I'll show you how to set it up on the keypad. Right, quickly having a look at the errors. The LED should be on all the time telling you the zone expander is working correctly. If you find it is having a continuous slow flash, it means there's a communication failure. If it's fast flashing, it means the voltage to the expander board is too low. Now here are some other error codes. What happens is you can look at the sequence of the red LED and determine what the fault condition is. Now in this case, I have a fault on this particular alarm panel. Let's count the red flashes and determine what the fault is. Right, so it's off and then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, off. Right, so notice that it's got a sequence. So having a look at the error message, it shows me six zeros. That tells me dead serial bus. I already know that my alarm panel here is faulty. I'm just showing you what these errors mean if you have this problem. Notice that you can count the red flashes to determine what error you may have. Now, in your case, you'll probably have no error and you'll just be able to carry on and wire up your zone. To wire up your zones to the zone expander, you follow the same method that you did when you wired up zones one to eight. So all it means is that you will choose your zone that you want to wire. For example, if I want to wire zone one, my one wire leaves zone one and the other wire returns to the negative of zone one. Zone two, he has the positive of zone two and the negative returns sharing the negative for the zone one just in the same manner as the alarm panel. If you'd like to see detailed videos on how to set up your alarm and do the wiring to your passives, etc., please check out my playlist on IDS videos. I'll now show you a zone expander board wired up and then I'll show you how to configure it on the keypad. Right over here, I have a zone expander. Dip switch number one is in the on position and notice the red light stays on. Underneath, I have another zone expander and dip switch number two is up. This is zone expander number two. Notice the red LED is on and everything is working correctly. All the zones have been wired up. Once you have connected your zone expander board, you just need to do some configuration. You will need to know your installer code. The default installer code is 9999, that is four nines. First press the hash key, followed by 9999 star. That will take you to the installer menu. And the first thing you wanna do is enable each zone. So if I've connected zone expander board number one, that is zone 17 to 24. So I'm now going to go to location 201 star, and this is making sure that each one of those zones is in partition one. So notice that zone one is in partition one. And as I scroll through, I must make sure that when I get to zone 17, it must have a Y and I must make sure it has a Y all the way to zone 24. 
you might find yours looks like that. That means that that particular zone is not allocated to partition one. So I'm allocating it to partition one. If you would like this zone expander board to be allocated to a different partition, maybe in a different part of your home or business, well then you can now allocate it to a different partition. For example, if you want to allocate it to partition two, you would say 202 star, and you can toggle through here and until you find the zones of that zone expander board, there's number 17. And if I want to add that to partition 2, I just press star. Right, in this case, I'm not having it in partition 2. I'm leaving it in partition 1. Now I just need to set the zone properties. Because this is expander board 1, that's zones 17 to 24. I now press 3 star. That takes me to the zone properties for zone 17 to 24. So if I press star again, I've already set them. So number four is an instant zone. If you want yours to be an entry exit zone, you could put a one there. So you'd say one star. If you want this to be a follower zone, you press two star. If you want this to be an instant zone, it would be four star. Where do I get the zone types from? I get it from the manual. And over here are some of the zone types which you might want to use. Once you've set the zone types, your zone expander board should be working. Thanks for watching and cheers.